What does trance music mean to me? Trance music is music that captures the mind, moves the soul, makes the hairs on your arms and neck stand up, and music that takes your mind to a whole different dimension. The world is about to end and you're organizing the last ever party. What DJs would you book? I would book Carl Cox, Anna, John Askew, 10 hour set, Paul Van Dyke and Asterix. What is your greatest fear? My greatest fear is dying and paying my tax bills. What is your earliest memory? My earliest memory is with my grandmother when I was two years old and cut my leg in a park and I think when I was three, blowing out my birthday cake candles. Have you ever said I love you and never meant it? No. I always mean it when I say I love you. What is your guiltiest pleasure? My guiltiest pleasure is sweets, in particular, um, Haribo cola bottles, which I eat every day. Yeah. And chocolate. Anything sweet, actually. Not cakes, though. I'm not really into cakes or milkshakes. It's got to be sweets. Candies. What is your all time favorite movie? My all time favorite movie, probably Training Day with Denzel. Anything with Denzel in it, I love. Love Tom Hardy stuff as well. Recently seen a film called Fractured with Anthony Hopkins and Ryan Gosling was really cool. Hard to pick, but yeah, I'd say training days up there. What is the most important lesson life has taught you? It's a good question. Uh, the most important lesson life has taught me is to never give up. I was in a really bad place even a couple of months ago where I lost all creativity. I would sit there and just look at the computer and just <laughs> nothing would come out. I actually didn't know if I could do this anymore. I, I lost the ability to write music, the ability to create anything, no ideas, uh, just really in a dead place. Um, but I kept on sitting there, trying it, trying it, trying it, forcing it and never giving up. And I finally got it back. Still tough every day to come up with the ideas, but it's slowly coming back for me. And uh, that was a real important lesson to never give up because there were times that I was literally hitting my head on the desk thinking, I don't know if I can do this anymore. So that was an important lesson for me. So that's a lesson to you guys out there to never to give up on your dreams and just to keep chasing, keep pushing because it will come. In a film about your life, who would play you? Uh, my son would play me, I think. It'd be a pretty apt selection. You're only allowed one alcoholic drink. What would you choose? <laughs> I mean, Frozen strawberry daiquiri it has to be that. I love anything frozen and anything sweet, so I think those two go hand in hand. Strawberry or mango frozen daiquiri. If you were an animal, what would you be? I would be a dolphin because they're always smiling, always making people smile, and they make love for pleasure. So, seems like a good idea. Which track from your back catalogue best defines your sound? I would say Thump for me best defines my sound due to the Epic breakdown, massive build up, and massive kick in. Um, yeah, I'd say Thump is the best Simon Parrish in defining track. When did you last cry and why? Again, going back to a couple of questions ago when I was in that situation of not being able to create music, I that was when I cried and you know, was on the point of giving up and not knowing what the next turn for me was. Tough time in my life, so yeah, a couple of months ago was the last time I cried, and you know, I guess. Yeah, it was a tough time, yeah, that was it. If you weren't a DJ or a producer, what would you be? I would be a footballer. Uh, I was when I was 16 until I had a nasty car crash where the car flipped over a couple of times and we ended up in a ditch on a cold December night in Northern Ireland. Um, so yeah, that led me to becoming a DJ, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bit old to be a footballer, so maybe a coach now. What is your favorite country to travel in? My favorite country is Thailand to travel in. Um, so many idyllic spots, untouched beaches, and the people there are so humbling. Uh, I always leave there with my mind reset, recharged, and very humbled. It's a very amazing country if you haven't been to. Obviously there's lots of tourist spots, but there's so many un untouched places north of uh, Thailand, like Chiang Mai, I haven't been to, but yeah. Thailand for me. What is your best party memory from Amsterdam? So many um, for me. Don't have time to go through them all, but me and Greg Darney ended up in some abandoned illegal side trance party in a church. Um, yeah, with people bringing their kids there at like one at two o'clock in the morning, crazy. Um, me and Sean Tyus got some incredible stories in Amsterdam. Um, 
lots of ADE moments. Amsterdam is my favorite city to party in. It's, uh, it always gets messy there. So yeah, Amsterdam's, you know, looking forward to the end of the month for seven. Name three tracks you're 100% playing at seven. Uh, my three tracks are 100% Kick Bass, Acid Lloyd, my new single. Um, Greg Darney Elephant and Asterix and Ace Ventura's pseudonym Alpha Portel called Acid Rain.